Hi guys, happy Wednesday. I hope you're all having a really good day today. So we're just over a week into the month and I've been wanting to upload a March favorites video and I figured if I waited any longer, I would have to make it an April favorites video. In addition to that, I coincidentally would like to talk about makeup and or skincare type stuff right now for the most part, so it is convenient timing, and that is why we are here today. I have my March favorites for you guys. Um, some of them you may have seen before, some you may not have, but that's what makes them a favorite, right? It's the stuff you like actually want to use regularly. So this is what I have to show you for my favorites for March of 2015. The first one is skincare. This is by Clark's Botanicals and it's a skin clearing face and body wash. I have been using this every single night when I wash my face for over a month now and I mean I do have a few blemishes still but for the most part I feel like my skin is in a lot better condition so I think this has a lot to do with it. Um, it is a little bit expensive. I think it retails for like $46 for this container. Um, this was given to me to try so I want to say I would repurchase it because if my skin stays like this it's worth it but it is kind of pricey but it's really good stuff so amazing and then the other thing that I'm crazy about right now you guys have definitely seen before and recently too uh, the origins original skin renewal serum with willow herb looks like this um, this is actually my second bottle I did go repurchase this because, well, I was given the first one to try and it was so good I needed more. So if this serum and this face wash are what's keeping my skin in the condition it's in, I'm, I'm just going to have to invest because I haven't had skin as clear as it is right now in a long time. And that's even with the stuff that I do have blemishes all about going words in me, not today. Um, yeah, skin better. My next favorite is a nail polish. Um, you know, why do I even try, right? This one is called Latte. This is by Model City Polish. Um, it is clearly not what I'm wearing on my nails right now, but it is a very creamy, very light beige, almost white holographic polish, and it's so pretty. John sent me this one. I haven't gotten a chance to wear it yet, but it looked really nice when I swatched it, and uh, so this is my polish favorite of the month. Um, then as far as lip products go, I picked two. Uh, the first one is an Urban Decay lip pencil in Naked, and it looks like this. And I'll swatch it for you guys. We'll see what the lighting wants to do right now, because sometimes it's just awful over here and you can't any see anything true to color. But this is the Urban Decay pencil in Naked. My next favorite is my new NARS Audacious lipstick, which is actually what I am wearing on my lips right now. This one is called Anita. And it looks like that, and I will swatch that for you guys as well. I feel like it's kind of coral, but when I compare it to other things, it's actually not very orange at all, and it's more of a light pink, but you can see it's got a little more orangey undertones than the pencil there. My next favorite is also something rather new, um, so you guys may have seen this recently as well. This is the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Palette. And it is a trio of finishing powders, and they are just so amazing. I love the way they're pressed into like a pyramid shape in the pan. And they're very subtle, but I've been using them all over my face, and it just gives me this really glowy, like kind of airbrushy look. I don't know. I think, anyway. I think they're phenomenal, so I highly recommend that. Um, I think it's like $60 for the three powders, but individually they're like $40 a piece, so... It's an investment, but if you can afford it, I really like that one. Um, then for mascara, this one has been my favorite for a little while now, which really surprised me. This is the Benefit Their Real Mascara, and this is just like a deluxe sample. I actually have a full-size tube sitting over there, but I didn't want to open it and expose it to air just for the sake of the video. I really like the wand. I like how it's got that kind of like pokey bit at the end there, so you can get in between the lashes and separate them but I've been really impressed with this wand. So this mascara has definitely been a favorite for me lately. For blush, I have been wearing the Kat Von D Everlasting Face Shaper Blush in Heartogram a lot. Today I went with a really subtle blush. I just used my Hourglass Blush Palette, but um, this one is one that's been really good anytime I've wanted a little bit more vibrant color on my cheeks. And I, if I didn't tell you, it's in the color Heartogram. I think I bought this for myself around my birthday, maybe, with a gift 
card from somebody. But it is beautiful. It has shimmer. And it is a sort of salmon-y, corally color, but it's really also deeper. I don't know. It's hard to explain. But it gives you a really good glow, and you can blend it out and make it a lot more faint. But yeah, that is Heartogram by Kat Von D, my blush. Oh, that's bad glare. Very pretty. Uh, for eyeshadow, I have been liking this ColourPop eyeshadow in Cheeky. I find these are kind of tricky to work with, but this color makes it worth it. Um, it really doesn't play nicely with any brush that I've used it with so far. So if you guys know of a brush that you can use with these, um, it's not even so much that I mind sticking my finger in the pan. It's just like the precision of a brush for my eyeballs, I think would be nice. But Cheeky is actually very similar to Heartogram, except it's a little bit more peachy. I'm going to kind of layer it on here just so you guys can see it. So yeah, I mean, like, as far as all the ColourPop stuff I got, this is probably my favorite eyeshadow color. But overall, I don't know if I'm going to go back and buy more. But that's what it looks like. And I really like the way they feel. They're very buttery feeling, and the pigmentation is decent. That's my favorite of the ones I've gotten. But I think this kind of surpasses it, to be honest. This is by Terry, and it is the Ombre Black Star... Color Fix Cream Eyeshadow, um, number six, which is Frozen Quartz, and these are also very expensive. The Color Pop is only five dollars, so if you're looking for a cream eyeshadow on a budget, these are well worth it. This one, on the other hand, I believe it is about fifty dollars, and this was given to me. I do not think I could afford it, to be honest. But it is so amazing. It's got such good pigmentation. It is so creamy. It is so shimmery. I kind of squished it a little, gosh. Looks like this in the tube. It's a retractable crayon type deal. And I have it swatched on my hand right there. So that's the color pop, and that's the by Terry. And you can see it's very, very shiny. So it's a great metallic eyeshadow. As I said, for the price, you can't beat the color pop one, but in that same vein of cream eyeshadows, this one is, it kind of speaks for itself. And that is all I have as far as cosmetics go. Uh, the last thing I wanted to talk about was an author. I like all of the books. Um, I kind of think the first two that I read are my favorite. Uh, the author is Jordan Sonnenblick. And these are three of his books. I think he has five or six. I think he has six books published. Um, some of them I have on my Kindle. I think it's called a Kindle. Is that the one that comes from Amazon? Yeah, it's not a nook. Okay, so on my Kindle, I have three of his books, and I'm in the middle of reading one right now. Um, these two I bought while I was still working at Borders. Uh, Drums, Girls in Dangerous Pie was his first book, and Notes from the Midnight Driver was his second book. They're both really, really, really good. What I like about Jordan Sonnenblick is he writes kind of like Jerry Spinelli. Um, Jerry Spinelli wrote Stargirl and Maniac McGee and Space Station 7th Grade and a bunch of other books and he's one of my favorite authors. But Jordan Sonnenblick is a newer discovery. I just read this one last week, last Thursday I think, and since then I've downloaded the other three on my Kindle and read two of them and I'm in the middle of the other one right now which I'm going to finish tonight before bed. So if you guys like Young Adult, if you liked Jerry Spinelli, I really really recommend these books. They're like they talk about serious stuff, but make you feel okay about it happening too. I kind of hate when books are like super duper doom and gloom because kind of read to escape. But anyway, now that my hand is swatched with what actually looks like a lot of pink makeup, that's funny. All of my favorites were pink this month, so or last month. That is all I have for my March favorites video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you're still here, the secret word for today is dangerous pie, like the book. Leave it in the comments below if you made it this far. Um, I love you guys. I really appreciate you so much. And I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye.